Hey guys, this is Tristan with Victorious Games. Today I'm going to show you an example I built to demonstrate some of the properties of a sprite and how those can be modified using actions. So let's start by looking at this scene. I have a sprite here from the GDevelop Asset Store. I have a few behaviors associated with it. One you can see I can pick it up and drag it. That's using the draggable extension. And I also have bounce. Bounce is one of my favorite extensions. It kind of simulates physics. The third behavior I have on these uh, sprites is the Y sort extension. So Y sort extension basically sets the Z value equal to the Y value. So whichever object is low on the screen is going to be in front. So you can kind of see them changing positions. Now that's kind of cool because it gives a little depth of field effect. Speaking of effects, I have one layer effect. The layer effect that I am using is the drop shadow effect. So that's the, that's the shadow you see on these guys. Just to verify, I'll show you how you can see these. Double click on your sprite. You click on behaviors. There's the bounce behavior, draggable, and Y sort. I added those just by using this button and searching through this list. The layer effect is I applied it on the base layer. You can see that number one there. And the effect is just the drop shadow effect. And I think I only changed uh, one value, which is this distance. Let's look at the different properties you can change on a sprite. The first one is uh, related to visibility. If you want to hide a sprite, you there's a hide and show action. You can use this checkbox to make that happen. To make this change, you would go to your event sheet and click on Add Action. Click on your sprite, and then here's Visibility. So this is the hide show, that that's what we're doing with that. The other visibility that's related is the opacity, which is how much can be seen through the object. So if we change the opacity, this will fade away to nothing, basically to hidden or invisible to you could have a, like a ghost-like object or anywhere in between. This uh, opacity value is a value between 0 and 255. Flipped is a very valuable action. What it does is mirrors the object. So if you were on a uh, platformer and you wanted to turn left, you could just say flipped. Now your sprite will face left. By default, the sprites face right. This makes it so you only have to do all of your animations facing right, and you don't have to double it for the opposite direction. So scale is a way you can modify the size of a sprite. The default scale is one, and I let you, with a slider, I've, I've configured it to let you go to half size, which is 0.5, or 1.5, which is 50% larger, than the original. The color, the tint of the sprite, I'm using an extension that adds an, the expression for color conversions. If you care a lot about color theory, I'm using the HSL to RGB function. And so the H stands for hue, and the hue is a value between 0 and 360, 0 being red. And it kind of goes for the, the colors of a rainbow, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and it is a circle, so it's going to come back to red. You could probably see from this example that tint doesn't change the 100% of the color of a object, just adds color, additional color on top of the existing color. So what that means is if you want to change the colors of your object, you kind of have to start with a white color. This drill has a white tip, so this white part actually does change pretty much to the proper color it's supposed to be. Meanwhile, the other parts, they were originally blue, so when you change the tint, it, tend to, it mixes with the original blue color, making these darker colors. The angle is the direction that the object is rotated. By default, the sprites face to the right. And facing to the right is an angle of zero. And if you increase the angle, it will go clockwise. 
and if you increase it to 90, you're basically facing down. And if you go to 180, you're facing left. But notice that it's actually upside down now. That's why you need flipped for facing the opposite direction. You can't just do a 180 degree rotation. You'll be upside down. 270 is up here, and 360 gets you back to where zero is. Uh, blend mode is how different sprites look when they cover each other. So by default, they have really no effect. It's like 100% opacity, and they don't really interact when they when they touch. Blend mode one, I believe, is additive. So that means that the more things that stack up, the brighter the sprite will be. Blend mode two is called multiply, and it looks like this because there's an incompatibility with the way multiply works and the drop shadow effect I'm using. But multiply is a pretty cool effect when you're not using a layer effect at the same time. Three is called screen. Screen actually looks a little bit like additive. It's just a slightly different look. It almost feels like opacity because you can see through, but it's not the same as opacity. If we had opacity set to something low like this, and I'll go to blend mode one or zero, which is the default. You can see through th them, but the primary objects are ghost-like. So we don't. If you don't want that effect, you would use blend mode th uh, three to be able to see through. So I hope you found this useful in understanding how sprites work and how they can be used. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. And I hope you have a wonderful night. See ya.